How to create a Joomla custom CSS style for Chrome and Safari. Okay, so today we're going to look at how we can custom style a module in Joomla, but only for Chrome. So this is our marketing website. I've come across this today. I've got a bit of an issue. You can see over here this uh, download your free beginner's guide to SEO. It looks fine in Firefox. So this is Firefox. It's all lining up nicely. It's in position. But in Chrome, you can see that it's bumping over this uh, this top area here, and it looks a little bit too large. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm actually wanting to uh, change this using CSS, but only for the Chrome browser and also Safari as well, because they both run the V8 engine. Um, and so when you make this change, it'll actually update both Chrome and Safari. So let's look at how we're actually going to do this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom div. All right, so what that means is that we're actually going to style this module. So you can see here I've got the free ebook homepage, and that references this free ebook image on our homepage. I've then got the code div.ebook, and then in uh, in my curly brackets I've got some uh, some code there which is positioning it. So this is across all browsers. This is positioning it across all my all my browsers. So Chrome, Safari, uh, Internet Explorer, and Firefox. So you can see here position relative. Bottom is 15 pixels. I've got 15 pixels of space at the bottom, and it's 119 pixels high. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this term here ebook, and I'm going to put that into my module class suffix in um, the back end of Joomla. So we've got div.ebook and then we've got our position relative bottom 15 and height 119 pixels. Now that's going to style the module across all browsers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the term ebook and I'm going to go and put it into my module class suffix in my module that I want to style within Joomla. So we'll save that. Now if we go to Firefox and we open up, uh, we open up uh, Firebug, what we should find is that here you can see the div class of that particular module. We've got box two and we've got ebook. So that's our uh, our custom style div dot ebook. And we've got bottom 15 pixels, 119 pixels high, and the position is relative. And you can see that that references the code here that we've got in our custom style sheet. So I want to make that slightly smaller in Chrome to actually get this looking nicely. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put in this little piece of code here. Now if you after this piece of code, there'll be a link in uh, the description of this video that you'll be able to go to an article which will give you this code. So you can see here at media screen and, and then we've got some WebKit device pixel ratio information. And then I've added in this custom div that I've created. So you can see here div.ebook and then I've got height 102 pixels. So this is telling Chrome and Safari anything that renders the WebKit or V8 engine. It's telling it, okay, I want it to display at 102 pixels. So now if I uh, upload my file, you can see we should hopefully, let me just go into here, we should see that it should magically change. So let me just refresh the page and you guys should see that it's 102 pixels high now and it now looks really nice in Chrome, but it still stays exactly the same in Firefox. So it renders differently in Chrome and renders, uh, renders the same in Firefox. So that's how you make a custom CSS style for a Joomla module. Um, uh, but only for the Chrome browser. For other great hints and tips on Joomla, visit marketeam.com.au.